Hey guys, uh, again, update. Um, I was pretty sick of, uh, painting demons and stuff. So, um, I found this, uh, turret. It was, originally came with, uh, my, uh, tank that I converted into orc battle wagon. And I haven't used it, but, um... I decided just to make some sort of like Imperial Guard emplacement um, out of it since uh, the new Imperial Guard stuff is coming out soon and I think it's like May um, so I thought it would be kind of fitting um, just show you a few things um, first of all I guess this would count as a Twinling Tevi Stubber which, <coughs> um, I don't think that's in the normal codex. I think that's a Forge World, um, Forge World thing. Put the camera down. But, um, I can take these guns off because they have, like, a little notch. So I can, um, this is, um, this, I'm going to count this as a heavy stopper. Because it looks a lot like one, you know, it even has a forward clip. But, um, you can take these, uh, each individual gun off and, uh, put on something else and it rotates. Um, cause, um just to do that, these originally, these front armor plates were like holes. And I just cut out away at the side so you can move something in and out of the side. Um, this also, I haven't glued these on yet, the spinning part. But uh, I thought this was kind of cool. Um, I was just kind of bored, so I spent last night making it. Um, it's the bottom. So. Um, I don't really know if this means I'm going to start in Pill Guard Army or anything, but um, I really do like some of the new things that um, they're coming out with, especially the new, uh, like, uh, I think it's like a Lord, I, I don't even remember the name for it, but it was really cool. Um, it doesn't mean I'm going to stop uh, my Demon's Army. Um, I'm just going to wait until the second wave of Demon comes out so I don't buy anything that they redo. Um, and just to make it a little more 40k, I added a uh, Imperial Guard symbol. I wanted to add it somewhere at the top, but then that would um, interrupt the rotating. And I added this little symbol here, and then an Orc gun sight there. This would be like the lever where to turn it. Wow, I thought this was pretty cool. I kind of wish I had one or two Imperial Guardsmen, Guardsmen for the crew. But I'm just going to have to wait until I get some money, I guess. Um, what I did for base is I traced out my Juggernaut base, because that's the right size. And I cut as perfect of a circle as I can out of plastic card, and I sand down the side. And I just base this so it might be a little, it's still, it might be a little wet still. But, um, I put an uh, extra ammo clip there too. Um, so basically it just goes on like that, pretty much. I uh, I thought it was pretty cool. I was thinking about maybe doing like a desert theme for it. Um... I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, so yeah, again, I'm not sure if this means I'm starting guard or anything, but, um, the army that I said I was thinking about doing, I already, um, decided not to do it, so that's why I really didn't tell everybody I was doing it. Um, so I don't even know if, um, that I'm doing a guard army, um, I just lost my thought for a second. Um, so yeah, it's 
it's looking a lot better than uh, the artillery I was going to try and do for chaos. There's always um, some projects that I do that come out really good, but then some I just can't can't seem to get it right. And that's what I was doing with this. Um, idea behind it was good, but I just couldn't seem to get it. I didn't have the right parts, and I just couldn't uh, get it to look very good. But this, you know, I had all the pieces left over from my uh, orc tank. I think it looks really good. Um, so yeah, tell me what you think about it. Um, yeah, and if you were wondering, the army I was thinking about doing was going to be a World Eaters army. And I was going to get the World Eaters Forge World uh, Commander Terminator guy. Because he looked completely awesome. But, um, I guess I just decided not to because I'm not really even sure why. I just felt like doing something other than chaos, um, for a little bit. And, you know, I'm a really big, uh, like, World War II fan and stuff like that. So Guardsmen seem to fit. And also another plus is all, a bunch of new models coming out for them in May. And I'll probably have money by then, so I'll be able to get the new models, like, right on the spot. Which is always, um, pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, um, I'd probably count this as a twin link heavy stubber. Um, um, yeah, that's a Forge World thing. Um, if anybody has a profile for that, and they could send it to me through, like, private message message or something that'd be cool um it's part one of the forge world imperial armor books i think um i don't i don't think it's in the normal codex but and then like i said taking off the side i can always put different weapons there um when i get them to make more sense and i know it has four um stubbers on there but it'll just count as uh twin linked you know if someone's really picky i can just take off two bottom ones or something but i thought it was really cool um so yeah there's uh there's that um also this book came in um i don't think i showed you guys uh, i can't remember what i said in my last video but um, I'm not even very far, I just got it, so, um, yeah, the cover's really cool looking, um, so yeah, uh, if anybody has any, like, uh, tips about guardsmen or some guardsmen or something, um, I'm hoping I'm not gonna just, uh, say I'm gonna start the army and never start it, uh, this time I actually have, like, my first model, even though it's, not even tournament legal, but, um, it's really guardsman looking, I think. Um, yeah, uh, I guess that's it. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and, uh, I guess see you guys later.